All right, yo, what is going on, guys? It's Bros out here bringing you guys another video here today. Today, I have a very, very, very highly requested video, as you guys can see by the title. It is a uh, velocity sinking do rag booted like doodad. All right, so I made a uh, made a folder called Dick Squad Forehead, and um, pretty much it has si five or six sins and three clips. And I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to how I at least how I sync my edits. So, um, Chaboy Skilled Edits hooked us up with that free ass um, cinematics in his in his latest video and I thank him a lot for that I thank him a lot and um, so as you guys could see when I usually do my flows to cinematics depending on how smooth they are if they're not smooth I do it in a certain way like this so that it's not slow throughout the whole cinematic but when it comes to skilled he makes his cinematics very smooth so you can just uh, fast fade it in so you put it up to 300 and then back down to 100 and just keep it keep it uh, fa fast faded so it's smooth and then do the same thing but slow faded on the end so it goes out if you guys are having trouble like I'm not a tutorial man so if you guys don't understand what I'm saying you pause the video go back and re-listen to what I said so anyways I'm gonna show you guys just how the cinematic is flowing and you guys can get a feel of the song for a second so I will play it and for all of you thinking does this guy use markers no I do not use markers for anything not on the beats not on anything I don't use markers it would probably be easier to use them but I don't use them so here you guys go Okay, so as you guys can see, I like beats that are slow with easily uh, noticed bass hits because that's where I do all my syncing to. Like all these right here are all bass hits. And um, the sin really flowed very nicely. I'm going to watch that back one more time real quick actually. Yeah. So right here we're going to click on this and this is where we're going to put in the first clip. Which I am going to do insane fucking donger because it's an insane donger so it's like why can't we one most important thing for any of you watching this that don't do this already please do it disable resample it's uh it gives you this weird ghosting effect i might be able to show you right here actually um maybe i'll be able to find one where he's like running away okay right there you guys can see the outline like it's it's two of him in two frames right so it's like he's still in the other frame while he's in this one because it's trying to sync the frames together and it would be good if it didn't make a little ghost effect where you say two in one so as you guys can see it right there just keep your eyes on that while i change it it looks really like motion blurry and fuzzy and like ghosty and then if i take it off bang perfect hd it's only in one frame each time it's just perfect so never ever let resample be uh, enabled you always want to disable it and so the clip you're gonna want to chop it up to like right before he goes to shot or literally in the shot for this since there's such a long wait, I'll probably do it like right right a little bit before the shot and as you guys can see now I have the clip and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my clip syncing so at first when I put in the velocity I put it down to 52 I always leave it at 52 unless it's like counter-strike then I put it up to 59 because I used to get frame droppage but um, since these are really low kind of fast hits I'm not gonna do such a long um, such a long strafe from the time like such a long velocity so I'll probably just do that and make it really even every time just so that it's a quick little thrust forward it's not too much it's not too little I'm actually probably like probably making it too much but it's okay all right see now since that happened I'm gonna actually make this clip longer so that I can actually sync up the shots saddest part is it was already oh god i didn't even notice this this is way too long for my liking way too big i don't i don't go by the rules i'm a rebel <laughs> so i actually already have some cool effect ideas to do um to this edit so i think i actually might make this a edit that i'm going to upload and stuff so the edit will probably be out after this so just Get everyone get on my channel and get hyped for that okay so that's a problem we're gonna have to move it back more again just shot right on the base drop it's a second before but that's okay it's literally just one frame before um, but that's fine it'll still sound synced and everything so pretty much everything is gonna look very smooth I'll try to uh, I'll try to show you guys this sin's not gonna be very reductive with me it's gonna be very mean and not want to work but we'll try it let's go
So as you guys can see, the slow fade kind of, it starts off as a slow kind of transition into a really quick pop. And then if it stops right after, if you literally do one or two frames after um, the 300 point and you make it really low, it'll immediately just stop and slow down and it looks really smooth in every shot you take. Like when it really, when it speeds up really fast and it just gets really smooth, it, it looks beautiful. Recording messed up, glitched out, and lagged before, so just do what I told you to do in the first place, and then do this uh, to the second part of it, and then you'll be good, and I rendered it for you so you can see what it looks like, yes. and it, my edits don't look too great with only sync, because um, you guys have actually never seen that because I don't do, I don't upload edits with only sync, I upload it well, like after I've done everything in Vegas, so um, I'm actually going to render this out for you, if you guys are ready, here we go. This is just sync. Let me show it. Let's do that again. See, so it looks really smooth. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how I make my, uh, or on how I sync my clips with uh, Velocity. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, well, look at my mouse. It looks like a fucking rope, dude. Catch me, Jack!